Just had a repair in it's a Seawood Prime Test 100 um, pat tester. Um, it's got a strange fault. Um, it looks like there has been some battery corrosion leakage inside here. The, uh, there seems to be some kind of air inside there. Um, and the terminals on the back aren't looking particularly brilliant. Um, it's got a strange issue where um, when you first power it up, um, you get a full, you know, drop a new battery in, everything flashes up on the display uh, and then disappears. New batteries, try and power it up using two buttons, nothing. Um, just dropped up to about 9.5 volts on the power supply, put it across the battery terminals, press two buttons, powers up, works. Anything below about 9.4 volts, it will not power up. Um, this isn't a show you how to fix it, this is more of a, uh, because I haven't got that far into it yet, but this is how to dismantle it. Screw there, 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 and there. Security type screw with the little pin head on, uh, which will then just allow the back to simply lift off. And this is your board inside. Um, let me just come in a little bit closer. I mean, you've got an adjustable voltage regulator here and a fixed 5 volt there. I've checked those, those seem to be okay. No problem with the power supply. Get a, there's from the battery terminal in, which to be honest, ain't looking too pretty. I'll show you there. Um, positive terminals there. Negative one here, it's like covered in some kind of verdigris. Um, that's the power down to the board. Um, I've measured the, looks like there's a little bit of like, greenery inside that, but I have measured it with the voltmeter and that, and it's there's no volt drop across it or anything, but, but from the uh, what well should be 9 volt in to the input of the 5 volt regulator is about 0 0.3 volt drop so I need to just investigate that um, the, holding the board on uh, leave that screw and that screw on this side they're just spacers um, there's a screw in the center there's one at the top there one at the bottom there um, and then the board simply lifts off and that's your internals um, so it does work. Um, if I pair it at 9.5 volts, everything seems to work even. I've compared it against me uh, KT71 uh, on some of the readings. It's reading fine, but it just will not power up. And I can't see initial inspection anyway, any sort of corrosion on the board from battery spillage. Um, this thing just pulls off. I've checked underneath this. Um, so I'll check these as well, just to make sure those are okay. Uh, give the contacts a clean up as well, obviously. Um, but then the likelihood of getting a circuit diagram for this is probably almost impossible. Um, and once it is fixed, it'll have to go for calibration anyway, just to make sure it's okay. It's not something you can just sell again and hopefully be all right. Um, it will need recalibrating. Um, just to make sure everything's working correctly on it. Um, but I'll just give this is just an overview anyway of the internals, um, just so you can have a quick look. Um, if you ever fancy just taking one apart to have a look, this might just save you there. So if there's nothing in there you can see you could possibly fix, but um, I've just got to trace the power through really and find out how it gets to this point. It's probably some kind of switching from the two switches that you press, a logic system. Um, clicks in one of these relays probably the so it could be a faulty relay for all I know so um but I'll I'll dig deeper and that'll be in video part two um so this is just a general overview so you can actually see how it's put together um and so it does work uh, but as long as I keep the voltage above 9.5 uh which obviously is outside the realm of six AA batteries so um I need to find out why it's not working um Seems it seems to be um, no, as I say, no major battery corrosion I can see anywhere. So 
uh, I'll just start checking some of the components and just working my way through it and I'll post another video when that's done. So, Rose.